Welcome back friends, welcome back uh, to this video four in our passive solar greenhouse build series. Um, in this one we're looking at the construction of the south side panels. Um, these are quite integral to the design so I'm dedicating a video to these because these contain the windows which are have got, have got the window actuators on them as well. So um, there's some woodwork and some mechanics to sort out. So first of all, um, I'm cutting the first panel on site so that I can get it all right and fixing it up using my uh, trusty track saw. I don't know where I'd be on this project without this track saw really. Um, and that panel's all fitted up nicely. And then I start looking at window sizes. Um, I've got a rough idea in my head but still I want to do it by eye. And so we take the panel back to the workshop. Um, you can still see the off cuts there from the construction of the um, roof and work out again the window sizes. I want a bit more room at the top for the mechanics of the window actuator and um, so I use the track saw to a bit of thinking here going on, lots of thinking, lots more thinking, lots of pauses on this project just to make sure that I'm absolutely certain that I'm making the right cut because whatever I do here I need to replicate four times so I'll get this one right. Um, so basically I'm going to make up one panel um, almost till it's finished and then test it see how it works and when I'm happy with that I will then replicate it with the other window panels. So again using the track saw to cut the internal make the internal cuts as far as I can and then what I do is I finish those cuts um, with a jigsaw to leave the window panel for free because obviously it's not waste wood to be thrown away this is the window as well so everything's got to be cut as right and I want it to fit as tightly as possible and then I give it a good sanding down because I'm fed up getting splinters and then what I'm going to do is seal these panels this is not all white paint this is a waterproof sealer um, which comes in various colours in, including clear. Um, if you're from the UK it's a bit like Thompson's water seal. So I'll give all the bits a good coat with this sealing paint and now I'm going to fit these hinges. These are just temporary hinges so I can get um, the window actuator fitted. I need something a bit more um, sturdy for hinges. So I've got this window on a jig and I bring out the actuator so I can uh, play about. Um, I've changed my mind on the design. On the original design you saw the actuator at the bottom but I've realised if I fit it at the top I will get a much um, greater angle of opening. Um, but I've got to make the board rigid to be able to take the strain of opening the window. Um, these actuators are rated to 750 newtons which is about 76 kilos, I think, which is way in excess of the load of this window, which probably weighs five kilos at the most. So I thought I'd try and be um, less wasteful and use some offcuts. And you can see I've cut the um, that offcut there. I've cut it so it can fix to the... Um, the beam that goes across and into the board itself and then I fix the bracket for the actuator at the top there and then um, draw the window to a close and I need another bar across on the window itself to spread the load that the actuator so it can push the window up without the uh, window panel bending itself. Not so much a problem when it opens but when it closes I need it to close exactly right. So that's fixed as well and then um, first attempt at putting the other bracket on and actually try with a screw to get it going um, which as you see fails. Oh dear. So what I then do is decide to fix it with a bolt which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Um, and the actuator is opening and closing. So here's um, the actuator working in real time.
and it has no problem opening the window. So there's the window fully opened and then we'll close it again. Obviously gravity's on the side here so it will close no problem and then it will close tight. Very nice indeed. So that's just as I imagined it would work. So now I cut the rest of the panels and uh, we're going to go down, take them on site and make sure that they all fit up nicely um, before I then cut them out, uh, cut the window panels out. Okay, so I've just put the side panels on. So um, basically I did that full one yesterday. I wanted to do a full one to see how it works, how it goes, and then I'll do the other ones. So um, I've cut these, as you've just seen, and I've offered them up in position to see how they look. Um, there's a couple of oddities going on here, which I'm not really sure why um, they're more vanity than anything else. I think it's because the bottom bar isn't set properly. Um, but I can adjust that. I don't really know why there's that gap, but it's it's not the gap itself, it's the not knowing why, because everything's square, everything's been measured three times and then cut. Um, but anyway, there is what there is. And um, so what I'm gonna do now is take them all off again and then put them in storage. Just um, it's the, the temperature, the, so the weather's gonna change today, it might rain. But the good thing is now I've cut them to size, I can work indoors on them and then I can do the same processes here, cut the flap for the window um, and set it all up, um, take this off as well and redo it properly. I'm going to the hardware store this afternoon to collect um, hinges and um, the bolts that I need and everything to do it properly. But I'm, you know, so, well that one could stay really, it's waterproof, but I just need to take the um, electronics off. yeah I think it'll work okay and then we can um, attach them properly and then work on the side panels I think or the back panels um, and then the offcuts from this use the kick panels or the sacrificial kick panels on the other side which will work out nicely right let's do that then okay so um, I've made up the panels now I didn't video all of it because it's just a replication of what you've already seen only difference really is the new hinges a lot more robust um, heavy duty so um, they'll be great um, and then you'll notice that what I'm doing as I fit each panel I'm sealing them in using some all-weather sealant um, on the joints what I do is I put the panel up I pencil along where it's going to sit and then I put the sealant along that pencil line so I know that's exactly right and then just um, for now, just put in two or three screws. What I'll do is go back later and fit it permanently and then seal it um, with a finger line. Just to uh, eliminate any potential weak spots, even though they're all done with this waterproof paint. Um, I think it's better to do it that way. Better to be safe than sorry. So just fit these last panels. job is a good in as they say a bit more just using the rest of the tube of the seating up really on the top where there is potential for some moisture to gather so um as you can see i've actually changed the design a little bit of the um hanger where the window actuator will go and i'm fitting this in window actuator to the furthest away window because in principle you want the furthest away window open so that the uh, fresh air comes in and then is ventilated out the other end so that's the most important window for now using um, a much thicker piece of wood and that's um, wood stained as well so here's the window working in all its glory on a lovely sunny day you can see those hinges a bit closer up there well um, thanks for watching the video I hope you found it of interest as you hopefully i've done the other videos in this series there's still more to come if you like this video do check out some of our other videos um, and thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like the video at any point and i look forward to seeing you 
in further videos very soon. Bye for now.